The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, one of my favorite artists right now, one of my favorite young artists right now. Y'all know, always know I always show a lot of love to this brother because I, I really rock with his music and I really believe that he ain't spearing hate into the atmosphere like a lot of, a lot of artists are right now. That'd be Moneybag Yo out of Memphis. Moneybag Yo did an interview with This Is 50 and he was asked a plethora of questions. He's obviously on promo for his new tape. Federal three times one of the best tapes out right now. I would love for you to come in and tell me what you think of the tape in the comment box below Federal three times out in the atmosphere. What's your favorite record off that tape, man? I'm, I'm really rocking with right now. That's my favorite right now um, No pun intended, but that is subject to change He talked about signing the Yo Gotti, all right He's talked about this a plethora of times but never this open and honest and candid about the effect that it has had on his family and friends. And I thought it was a dope part of the interview and I thought it was a teachable moment. So this is what he said. I don't even supposed to be doing business with your guy. His side of town beef with my side of town all the time. I just seen a bigger vision. I lost family friends over it. When I dropped my first few tapes, it was all up. When I signed to CMG, I started seeing some negative too. The bigger you get, everyone not gonna like you and he was pretty much saying he had to learn that the hard way then the conversation between money bag and the interviewer from this is 50 apologize for not knowing his name um he talked about how you think with him signing more people out of the city would be happy more artists because it would open up more windows for them but that's not the case and I would say myself, that's very unfortunate. The more rappers you have on, the more opportunity. It's as simple as that. The more jobs you have in a city, the better it'll be for more people. The more work that's available. It's simple as that. There's power in numbers. And I've never understood the power of people not linking up. You see, one minute, you can't have it both ways. One minute, people will argue there's nobody linking up in whatever city you're in. There's no continuity in the city. And then when people link up, you got a problem with that as well. He shouldn't have signed with him. That's going to ruin his career. That's detrimental. What do y'all want? Like, there's no way to make everybody happy. And the only thing you can do is live out what's best for your situation. Now, I guess for some of those same people who said, no, you're doing the wrong thing by signing to Yo Gotti, would you argue that now? I told y'all this months ago. Would you argue that same sentiment now? Hmm, last time I checked, Moneybag's doing pretty good. His career spiked after the federal two, the two times federal tape, right? Um, he has a record right now that's charted right now, charted on Billboard, doing too much. That's with Yo Gotti, if I'm not mistaken. That's a charted record. Um, he's pretty popping out there in the streets. He was going to probably get to this point at some point down the line without the services of a label or a Yo Gotti or whoever it was or a Gucci or whoever you wanted them to be with. But I think you can't argue that CMG expedited that process. Do you still think he shouldn't have signed? Things look to be going, doing pretty good on money back side. And I think if he had to make that decision again, he'd do the same thing. So my question to you is, you really think money back made the wrong decision signing? How has it negatively affected his career? All I see is positives on this sign, and I mean by the dollar signs, right? Talk to me, comment box below, subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.